Good morning, good morning, happy new week to you all. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Monday, 15th of July 2024, and today's topic is You are God's favorite. We want to know we are God's favorite. So, before we start this beautiful morning, let's thank the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Father King of Glory. We thank you, we honor you. Thank you for the weekend. Thank you for this beautiful week you have ushered us into. Thank you for a good night rest. Thank you, Father, for protecting us. Thank you for building an edge around our lives, so Lord. Thank you, Father, for who you are in our lives. And thank you for your word this morning. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. And to the topic is You Are God's Favorite. Hallelujah. Psalm 149 verse 4, the, for the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. The psalmist in the opening verse uncovers a profound truth that transcends mere religious metric, re, okay, rhetoric. It is a revelation that speaks at the very heart of our relationship with God. Observe that it doesn't say it's for the Lord to take pleasure in the beauties of heaven or his holy angels. No, it says for the Lord to take pleasure in his people. Psalm 149 verse 4. It means God's delighting you. He likes you. Pause for a moment and ponder those words. Help. This isn't merely about God's loving us, even though that truth is mon mon Mentor in itself. Praise the Lord. This is something more personal, more intimate. God's delight in you. So I might think, Pastor Chris, how can he take pleasure in me? I smoked last night. I told the lie last week. Irrespective of what you have done, the Bible tells us that the Lord takes pleasure in his people, and that includes you. Now that you know how much he loves and delights in you, Live right and do the things that please him. That is why he gave you his nature of righteousness, so that without struggle, you can live a righteous life. Every so often, contemplate the depth of God's favorable disposition towards you. Think deeply on it. It is it will charge you outlook on life. You will see yourself differently. Every respect aspect of your life, your work, relationship, aspiration will take on a new meaning now if god likes you it must mean he cares about where you are what you do where you live and work who your friends are are everything about you can you see why he tells you in matthew 6 25 do not worry about your life what you will eat or drink or about your body and what you will wear he doesn't want you to agitate Agitated about anything because you are his beloved and he knows how to take care of his own. Instead of having anxiety about anything, he says, Cast them on me because I care for you. First Peter 5 7. See how much he takes pleasure in you, his favorite. Oh, you are God's favorite. Praise the Lord. And you know what? <laughs> Today really blessed my heart to the topic. Praise the Lord. You know, when we have parents that have plenty of children, it's not their fault and they begin to pick favorites. Praise the Lord. I was born as a six as six in my from my mother to my father. And my dad, I noticed that he lost my elder sister, and my mom loved my elder brother. So you can imagine there was no place for me. But though they try to love everybody, but you can see it. You can see that, oh, this is their favorite. This is their favorite. And I begin to question, who, who, who loves me then? But reading the scriptures helped me to understand. If God loves you, why will you be looking for human love? And that console me. Praise the Lord. So if you take, if you fall into that category that I just talked about, about my experience with physical parents, praise the Lord. Know that God loves you. And when God loves you, it's more than human being praise to lord is forever is forever god love is forever 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So know that God loves you. He does not look at your weakness in the struggle. He considers your strength. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So do not be afraid of your sin because it has been paid for. Praise the Lord. God does not see you that way. But when you love God, when you understand this, you live. I want to please your Father in heaven. You will live a righteous life. Praise the Lord. So with that being said, let's take the prayer and confessions together. Dear Father, thank you for your gracious and loving disposition towards me. Thank you for making me your favorite. I am divinely favored everywhere I go because you have beautified my life with your grace and embraced me with your loving kindness. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your personal love for me in Jesus' name. Amen. For that study, you can look at Zephaniah. 317, Ephesians 2 10, and Deuteronomy 14, verse 2. When your Bible read the plan, R23, verse 12 to 35, and Job 40 to 42. To your Bible read the plan, Galatians 4, verse 20 to 12 to, to 20, and Isaiah 35. So at your leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of jesus thank you so much for joining me this morning you are god's favorite right remember and if you're here you've not given your life to jesus christ this is an opportunity for you to do so all you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning oh lord god i believe with all my heart in jesus christ son of the living god i believe he died for me and god raised him from the dead i believe he's alive to them I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. And if you repeat this beautiful prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is read your Bible, get to know who God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. Bombard yourself with faith with messages such like this and look for a believing church and worship for growth. What a great time we had this morning. Please subscribe to my channel on your notification bell so anytime I upload a video like this, you'll be first to be notified. And please share this video. God bless us with full instruction this morning in Jesus' name.